Some would argue he was the greatest president we ever had. Some would argue. Some would argue he was not. But some one would thing, just argue. One thing you cannot deny <laughs> is that Ronald Reagan was a great speaker. Yes, sir. He knew how to say the right thing at the right time. He was yeah. well trained as an act. Correct. And he was good. Yeah. You know? He wrote most of his own stuff. Yeah, right. Most of it. So somebody sent this to me, and it was basically Ronald Reagan's uh, response to the Obama administration. Obviously, Which is weird. Right. It, it's not. But if you are not a fan of the Obama administration, you will appreciate these words that Ronald Reagan said back in the late 80s about this country and where we are headed and the things we need to guard against. So just listen, and, and, and maybe afterwards you could call up and, and tell uh, you know how poignant these words are. Today, uh, you know, this was probably over 20 years ago when Ronald Reagan said these words to America. This national feeling is good, but it won't count for much, and it will last, unless it's grounded in thoughtfulness and knowledge. An informed patriotism is what we want. And are we doing a good enough job teaching our children what America is and what she represents in the long history of the world? Those of us who are over 35 or so years of age grew up in a different America. We were taught very directly what it means to be an American. And we absorbed almost in the air a love of country and an appreciation of its institutions. If you didn't get these things from your family, you got them from the neighborhood from the father down the street who fought in Korea, or the family who lost someone at Anzio. Or you can get a sense of patriotism from school. And if all else failed, you could get a sense of patriotism from the popular culture. The movies celebrated democratic values and implicitly reinforced the idea that America was special. TV was like that, too, through the mid-60s. But now we're about to enter the 90s, and some things have changed. Younger parents aren't sure that an unambivalent appreciation of America is the right thing to teach modern children. And as for those who create the popular culture, well-grounded patriotism is no longer the style. Our spirit is back, but we haven't re-institutionalized it. We've got to do a better job of getting across that America is freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of enterprise. And freedom is special and rare. It's fragile. It needs production. So we've got to teach history based not on what's in fashion, but what's important. Why the pilgrims came here, who Jimmy Doolittle was, and what those 30 seconds over Tokyo meant. You know, four years ago, on the 40th anniversary of D-Day, I read a letter from a young woman writing to her late father, who had fought on Omaha Beach. Her name was Lisa Zanata Hen, and she said, We will always remember, we will never forget what the boys of Normandy did. Well, let's help her keep her word. If we forget what we did, we won't know who we are. I'm warning of an eradication of that, of the American memory that could result ultimately in an erosion of the American spirit. Let's start with some basics more attention to American history, and a greater emphasis on civic ritual. And let me offer lesson number one about America. All great change in America begins at the dinner table. So tonight in the kitchen, I hope the talking begins. And children, if your parents haven't been teaching you what it means to be an American, let them know and nail them on it. That would be a very American thing to do. I like it mm. a lot. Yes. What here's I guess my question I would have, who are we? Are we forgetting who we are as a nation? I think we are. I think we are. And that's a problem. It is. To be a proud American. It's almost a punchline anymore, isn't it? We are made to feel these days ashamed. You're right. To be an American. Correct. What kind of freak would do that to his country? Right. To feel guilty? We're supposed to apologize to everyone for what? For what? We're the evil empire now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, I'll tell you what, I am proud of this country. So am I. I am proud to be an American. Absolutely. And I tell you what, I, 
I really have a problem with being made out to be a punchline because you are a patriot. Mm-hmm. You can be a patriot, not be a whack job. That's right. But it seems like only the whack jobs get press anymore. Isn't it amazing how people who point to the Constitution and say, hey, we need to govern the way our document tells us we're supposed to. You're crazy. You're nuts. Yeah. You're a maniac. Bob Marcuse is on the phone. Hey, this is Brian, man. Hey, Brian. How you doing? All right. Hey, I never call in another nerd, but I just wanted to call and say that was amazing. I just about teared up on the way to work. Well, you know what? You know why? I think it's because it needs to be said. I really, I really think we as a country are moving away from the things that made us great. There's nothing wrong with being proud to be an American, and it, it's almost like you're a joke. Yeah. If you show you're proud right. of, of being, you're a bad person, right? Or you're a bigot, yep. or you're racist, you're or, something or there's bad. something you're wrong something, with you. Yeah. And I, I tell you what, uh, uh-uh. uh, no way. I think we need more people to be more proud of this country. And, and remember the sacrifices, my God, the, the, the hundreds of thousands of men and women that, that fought and died for the ideology that, that made this country great. I, I just, I think we're forgetting, and, and that's, that's a tragedy. It is. It is. And, I, and thank you. No, no problem, man. Absolutely. I appreciate the call. You have a good day, okay? You too. Okay. All right. It's, you know, and it's more than just putting a, a ribbon on your car it's more than just having a flag at your home it's it's a way of being and i don't want to get on the soapbox too much here and but you shouldn't be ashamed of who we are correct we should not have to apologize for wanting to protect our nation we should honor the men and women that gave the ultimate sacrifice absolutely for these freedoms that we enjoy and not take them so for granted because uh you know what when you start taking freedoms for granted they start disappearing that's right because they're not important to you anymore. Mm-hmm. Are you willing to fight for them? And that's an opportunity for people who really right. suck. Right. To swoop in. To swoop in and take over. Take advantage. All right. Phone lines.